Hello everyone and welcome to Witstube. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking. Here is where I review cool tech like this inspection camera, smartphones, smartwatches, headphones and much more. So if you're into that kind of stuff, consider subscribing. Has long sent out this NTS 500 professional industrial inspection camera for my unbiased review. I have reviewed their NTS 300 industrial endoscope in the past which I'll be referencing during this video. So let's get started. Let's start with price. So this NTS 500 industrial endoscope will cost you $225.99 US dollar. If you are planning to get any of the Teslong endoscopes, I would highly recommend you to get it from their website as you'll get option to select various type of lens ranging from single lens, dual lens or the autofocus lens which is what I have. Not just that, you can select from various camera type ranging from 3.9mm to all the way up to 12.5mm in diameter. For this NTS 500, 8 and 12.5mm options are not available. You can also select the probe length ranging from 1 meter to 3 meter. So pretty much you can customize the endoscope as per your needs very easily. However, if you were to get it from Amazon, you have to keep an eye out for what you're getting as you may not get those customization options. Either way, if you purchase it from their website, use the coupon code VIDSTUBE for 10% off your entire order. Check out the links in the video description for more details. Also, you can purchase camera lenses separately from their website in case if you want different type of camera lens. On the other hand, their NTS 300 industrial endoscope will only cost $129.99 US dollar. Again, you can customize it as mentioned above from their website. I have reviewed the NTS 300 and the video is linked at the end of this video. But in this video, I'll show you why it is better to spend the extra bucks to get this NTS 500. Now, I'm a big fan of Teslong Endoscope's presentation. Every product comes in a nice sturdy carry bag with a nice secure locking mechanism and has a foam padding inside. The carrying case of the NTS 500 is wider than the NTS 300 but the NTS 300 as you can see is bulkier versus the NTS 500 is slimmer. They both weigh about the same, the NTS 300 feels slightly heavier to carry but nothing significant. Now inside the box there is the NTS 500 unit itself which to be honest looks and feels quite robust and more importantly it feels very ergonomic to hold. I will talk about it later during the video. There is a user manual which is very detailed, it's in English, Dutch and Chinese. Let's quickly read through the specs. This unit has a 5 inch color LCD display with 1280 by 720 resolution. However, the captured image resolution is 1080. Unfortunately, NTS 500 has a micro USB port. I wish it had a USB type C port. There is a TF memory card slot. The unit that they sent to me for review has a 32 gig of memory card on board. There is four level of brightness LED lights and a whopping 3500 mAh rechargeable battery size good enough for about 3 to 4 hours from my testing. But it does take about the same time to fully charge. This is a room for improvement. On the other hand, the NTS 300 only has 2600 mAh battery size. The operating temperature of this NTS 500 is 0 to 45 degrees Celsius. Okay, moving further with the content of the box, there is a product catalog. My unit has this autofocus 14.5mm 5 megapixel camera with 70 degree of viewing angle and a minimum of 30mm focal length. More to it later during the video. There is a micro USB to a USB type A charging cable. There is a nice carrying case for the attachments like the protection rim, the hook attachment. And since this is an autofocus 14.5 mm lens, there is a mirror attachment to get a side view as there is no dual lens. Now the autofocus lens that I have over here has a 3 meter long stiff probe which is waterproof, durable and definitely feels industrial. For reference, here is the single lens in-scam endoscope probe that I have reviewed in the past and the video is linked at the end but you can see that the probe of the in-scam is only 5mm in diameter and it does not feel robust. 
versus this autofocus lens probe is 7 mm in diameter. This Inscam cannot be compared with the NTS 500 as the NTS 500 is an industrial endoscope. Well, certainly you can get a dual lens probe like this separately from their website. However, I got this dual lens with the NTS 300 and both of these lens will work on either of the devices as they have the same 5 pin connector. But the significant difference is that the dual lens has a 1 megapixel camera only able to capture an HD that is 720 pixel image versus the autofocus lens has a 5 megapixel camera able to capture 1944 pixel and 1080 pixel images which are certainly much better quality than the dual lens. But the downside is that the autofocus lens is 14.5 mm in diameter. So you have to be mindful of the orifice where you are planning to insert it. But the dual lens has an advantage of its sensor being only 7.6 mm in diameter. So you can easily insert it even in a narrow hole. But as I said earlier, you can pick and choose which one to get if you were to make an order from their website. Keep that in mind. Okay, with that said, let's briefly talk about the connection. You definitely want to make sure that the device is turned off during the connection process. Now, you want to align the soft cable port with the host port in a way that this red mark matches the groove of the soft cable port. You don't want to mess around aligning the pins to the hole as you can damage the pins and doing that uh, will damage the unit itself. You can now turn on the device. Now let's have a quick look around at the NTS 500 itself. It's quite robust and the design is in a form of a handheld camera. It's very ergonomic to hold. You can rest all the fingers at the back around this bulge and your thumb around this raised threshold in the front. And you can single handedly reach all the buttons with your thumb. Now at the back there are some details with a caution that it's not for medical use as the word endoscope can easily be related to a medical procedure called endoscopy but this is not for that. So don't even try inserting this lens into any bodily orifice. Well there is a built in speaker and a reset button so if your device acts finicky then just press this reset button. Now on the side there is a hanging ring which is very important to loop it around your neck if you carry it with you at your work. And there is a microphone on top of it. On the other side there is nothing but the gripping surface is textured. Now on the top there is this auxiliary light with a switch for which you have to use your other hand but boy this LED light is quite bright. At the bottom there is a cover which houses the micro USB port and the TF memory card slot. So overall this NTS 500 unit is well designed and my favorite. On the other hand the NTS 300 unit is not that bad either. It is also capable of one handed use and quite ergonomic. It also has the same 5 pin connector port but a different LED light which is also very bright. The only difference is that the display size which is 4.5 inch and the display is IPS versus LCD on the NTS 500. They both feel about the same in terms of weight. Let me know in the comments down below which one would you prefer. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button as it will help my channel a lot. Come on guys, just do it. It's free. Okay, with that said, let's talk about the buttons and their function and wrap this video up with a live demonstration of the footage and my final verdict. Let's peel off the screen protector first. Now you have to press and hold the power button to turn the device on or off. Now once turned on, you will instantly see the live feed which you can rotate by pressing the arrow keys. Now on the display, you will see the mode on the top left which is camera mode on the startup of the device. There is a battery level indicator with the onboard memory card symbol on the top right. At the bottom right, there is the date and the time which you can change it from the settings. 
Now under camera mode, to take a picture, just press this button above the OK button. Now let me give you a quick demo of the autofocus feature along with the 30mm minimum focal length. So here is my YouTube business card and let's see how it does with focusing. So as you can see this lens does quite good of a job with focusing and since it has a 5 megapixel sensor the video and the image has more details on it. Now the button above the capture button is for the LED light adjustment on the camera itself. There are four levels of brightness. Now to change the mode you have to press this M button. So there are three modes, the camera mode, the video mode and the gallery mode where you can find all the images and the videos that you have recorded with the total number of files on the top right corner. Let me play a video clip for demo. Now unfortunately you can't zoom in to an image or zoom out to have a thumbnail view of all the files which would be really nice to have. Now when you press the settings button you get option to delete either the current file or all the files. Protection which will protect the file so you can't delete it from the device you have to delete it from the computer and slideshow ranging from 2 to 8 seconds. You can press the M button again to toggle to the top setting menu which includes auto power off, language, date and time and here is where you can adjust the date and time if needed. Format which will erase the content of the memory card, revert the device to the factory settings and firmware version. Now when you press settings on the camera mode, you get options like resolution, date stamp and shutter sound. Press M button to toggle on the top settings which are the same as shown earlier under the gallery. The settings under the video mode includes the same options but with the autofocus lens you get option to record a 1080 video which is really cool. I'll show you some samples at the end of this video audio recording on or off option and date stamp. Okay, now that you know all the features, let me give you a live demo of how easy it is to use this device. For this video purpose, I'll be using this to view the ventilation duct of my house, but you can use it to inspect pipes, vents, construction, automotive repairs and maintenance. I have used these devices to check my brake pads, engine belt, etc., drywall, HVAC and other machineries. This lens are waterproof so you can even use to inspect your swimming pool filtration system lines. So these borescopes are very functional and not just for industrial purpose you should have one if you live in a house as you never know when you would need this. Also I'll play some recorded clips for you. So here's my final verdict. I personally like the NTS 500 over the NTS 300 as it's very easy to use. It's quite ergonomic. I would personally prefer the autofocus lens as the video clarity and the autofocus is great over the dual lens that I have shown in the NTS 300 video linked at the end and make sure to check that out to further refine your choices. But overall this unit is very robust and functional. Few features I think would be really helpful is having a USB type C port over the micro USB port, fast charging, ability to view recorded clips and images in a gallery format with small thumbnails. For now to transfer files on a computer you have to have a memory card reader but it would be really nice if there was a fast wireless data transfer solution. Other than that, I think Teslong endoscopes are perfect. Make sure to use the coupon code VIDSTUBE to get 10% off your entire order from their website. Links are in the video description. So that's it. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also, follow me on my other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.